friends we are going to represent draw by adjacency list and uh, let's just start we are including i am including letter file now we, we have to create a prototype functions uh, before that we have to create a structure so let's create a structure of type node and uh, initialize its field sorry declare fields struct node and its uh, pointer type object name next it's okay now we have to create an uh, pro function prototype named the read graph so that we can create the nodes and uh, store the values according so that we can uh, traverse the uh, node and know which neighbor which is the neighbor of which node okay so let's, uh, let's go ahead read graph and uh, we have to pass here the node type uh, argument and uh, in just a minute i will uh, tell you why i'm going to use the array here and uh, the number of nodes okay the main function is here now define we are going to define the function it graph struct node okay so let's Now what we have, we have to do is uh, we have to initialize a new node so that we are going when we create a new node uh, we can uh, point it to the next variable and uh, store the data to, the, to that particular node. So struct node, sorry, new node. Now we need some variables for looping. Okay, and uh, one more variable. Let's name it well. We are going to start a loop. And a number of times of how many nodes are there. And we again declare a node here. Name last which is stored the value of the last node means previously node you will understand what's used in just a minute okay now print uh, sorry print user a message enter the number of AIG members of particular node and we and that is one what we are going to do here is we ask user the number of neighbors of a particular node. So why we are looping here number of node time means let's consider that is if there is five nodes then this loop iterates five times. For first time it asks user to enter the number of neighbors of first node so that we can store the values of its each neighbor. Okay, so. What we are doing next we store the value of how many neighbors of that this particular node. So by doing by the scanf and store that value in let's uh, k. Okay. Now what we do next we again loop it here and this is for k times. Okay. Now what we do here is now we store the values of the neighbors of a particular node and uh, in node and initialize in sorry in and allocate memory to that node. So what we ask the user we ask user to enter the value of percent d neighbor of percent d percent d neighbor means the J and I plus one. Okay. Now what we do here? We store the value when user enter in a variable that we have declared name well. Now we have created here the new node uh, object, new node pointer object because we can yeah. we want to initialize the uh, values to it. Sorry, we we have to allocate memory to it. So now first we have to look at memory then we assign the value to it so here new well as you 
no we have to in order to locate memory we have to use malloc function malloc so for that let's look at memory no pointer malloc now use size of strut node okay now memory is allocated now we assign the value to it you know data field is to the value of n again okay. now its next property is set to null your next equals to null okay what we are going to do is let's uh, understand why we are we have used here the adjacency list. we have used here adjacency list uh, array so that we can keep track of every node the uh, sorry the neighbors of every node so the neighbor of first node is uh, let's consider 6 uh, 7 and 8 so we create a list of the neighbor of the first node so the first element of the adjacency list matrix of node type store the address of the sorry neighbors store the neighbors of the first node so what the first element first yeah, element store 6 7 and 8 Let's consider the neighbor of the second yeah, node is eight, nine, and ten. Then the second element of ah, the adjacency yeah. list matrix stores the list in which seven, eight, and nine yeah, element yeah. are stored. Okay, ah, we will yeah. just look at that yeah, when yeah, we yeah. print the graph. Okay. Now we check that if the first element of adjacency matrix, sorry, adjacency list matrix, is null. Let's check it here. If Adj first element is equal to equal to null. Then we assign the value of new node to the first element of adjacency list. Okay. And if it is not, then let's declare another variable here first. Name last that is declare here. And last store the address of the previous node. So the first time. Uh, when new node is uh, sorry the first element of adjacency list is null the new node's address is saved to the first element of the adjacency list and the when next time uh, the if is not going to execute because adjacency list first element is not null in that case the last pointer next the last pointer's next field will store the address of new node okay and the last will go in uh, last will update by the new node Okay, it is the reading graph. Reading of graph complete. Okay, now we have to uh, re. Uh, we have written the graph, and now we have to print the graph. So let's print it by the function we are going to create. Name it the print uh, print graph, and its uh, argument will be of uh, adjacency list array. So the same argument is here. Ad and now it will also take an argument of uh, number of nodes in the graph okay let's define this function so node print graph argument will be so now in order to read the graph what we have to do is create a pointer uh, sorry object of node uh, pointer object of uh, node structure let's name it as priya and set it equals to null now we need some variables so declare it here we are going to start a loop of nodes so we number of Nodes time. Now, what we do here is the pointer. We store the address of the adjacency list's i th element, so that the i th element, because we know that the i th element store the address of the uh, i th node, uh, address of the neighbors of the i th node. Okay, so the PTI will point to the first element of the adjacency list array. Okay, now we print. the 
members of percent d r and the percent d here is for i plus one means the first member second member or that is now while pointer is not equals to null what we do is print the values and space it by tab so that we are, we have no problem in looking at that now what we are going to print here is the value of the PTR okay now we set the PTR means the pointer to the next pointer so for example let's consider that if the first element of adjacency list array stored the at neighbors a b and c so the ptr will first time store the address of a and after calling this uh, after executing execution of this line what it will do it will store the address of the next uh, element and the next element with this uh, has is b so and that is when the ptr is not equal to null this will execute and when ptr means the pointer is equal to null then this loop will terminate okay uh, we have done a mistake here that the return type is need not to be structure type simple void okay. now we have to initialize um, we have to call the, our main function and in this main function we have to declare nodes let's declare node is equal to zero and some variables not nodes i think some variable i j k okay. now we print the user into the notes and we store the value in the variable let's call it node notes okay can have percent address of later notes okay okay we have taken the input for the number of notes now what we have to do we have to create our an adjacency list array and we know that the adjacency list array is of type node so it is adj and array and uh, how many elements are going to in this is the number of nodes in the graph so it is uh, node okay now what we do is we set the elements of adjacency list next property or we set the next yeah we set the adjacency list elements is equal to null because uh, before calling to the read graph function the elements of adjacency list array are not uh, storing the address of anything okay so let's do that by calling the for loop i less than nodes i plus plus and adj i equals new okay now we call the read graph function and pass the matrix addition to list matrix and the number of nodes and then uh, print graph function and also use the same arguments addition to list matrix uh, sorry addition to list and nodes number of nodes okay in order to stop the execution process so that we can see the result i'm declaring a variable here and uh, setting a breakpoint let's do it let's see but Oh, uh, yeah. The variable name is not ADJ, it's AD. Okay. Now what we have to do here is we have to enter the number of nodes. Means how many nodes we have? Let's consider five nodes. Let me show you the graph that I am going to represent by our program, and uh, it is this graph. So we look at here. Okay. Enter the number of uh, number of neighbors of first. So the number of neighbors of first is only one. So we enter here one. Okay. Enter the value of first neighbor. The first neighbor value is one. Okay. Enter the number of neighbors two. Two has one, two, two neighbors. So enter two. The value of the first neighbor is four, and the value of second neighbor is five. Okay. Now. 
the third third uh, third node has only one neighbor so we enter here the third number of neighbor of third is one and uh, this its value is five okay the number of neighbors uh, enter the number of neighbors four four has one two and three three neighbors so enter three okay now we have to put the values of each neighbor the first neighbor is one and second two and five okay now we have to enter the neighbors of five so five has one two and three neighbors so number of neighbors of five is three and its value is uh, first is three two and four okay let's look, look at output the neighbors of one are one the neighbors two are four four and five the neighbors of three are Five only. The neighbors of four are one, two, and five. Let's look at number neighbor four is node and its neighbor is one, two, and five. The neighbors of five are three, two, and four. Five, three, two, and four. It's good. Thank you.